All right, I've put um, the Alma Linux 9 DVD install ISO into a KVM virtual machine, and I'm going to boot it and do the install and show you a little bit about Alma Linux 9 beta. Just came out yesterday on April 19th, 2022. Uh, RHEL 9 will most likely, in my opinion, be released on May 10th, which is the first day of Red Hat Summit. And I don't have any insider information, so all this stuff's just a guess. But um, I would, I'm hoping that Alma will be able to get out the GA release of 9, maybe the same week or the following week. That would be awesome. Um, Red Hat developing RHEL in the open with CentOS Stream has really uh, made the development process so much more transparent. All right, let's see. I'll just go with the default of server with GUI, and I can install additional stuff later. I will um, partition it my preferred way. On desktop systems, I prefer standard partitions rather than LVM. And I'll give it a host name. They have this, they've disabled this by default, so you have to enable it if you want that to be the case. Man, I, can I not type the password in right twice? My cat, my, um, Keyboard keys are getting a little squishy because this is a well-worn keyboard. All right. So the installer hasn't changed a whole lot. If you've seen um, this, you know. Not a lot has changed from eight, from the eight series to the nine series. So far as the installer goes, I'm sure there's been some changes to it, but nothing significant that I noticed. So that um, you want to know what's new? Well, they've got PHP nine. I think this is based on Fedora 34 or Fedora 33, 35. I'm not sure, but it's got a 5.14 kernel. Um, YUM is a sim link to DNF. I think that's the same way it was in um, CentOS 8 and you know, Enterprise Linux 8. Uh, what else? Hmm. Um, I think they've gotten rid of the network, the old network script, and now you the only tools that you have are Network Manager, which is fine by me. I think they've gotten rid of IP tables, service. And now you have to use Firewall D, which is fine. I've been using Firewall D for a long time and Network Manager for a long time anyway. Um, hmm. And just a whole lots of updates. Um, I installed GIMP on here uh, on a previous installation, and it was like the beta uh, 2.99, which I thought was a little strange. Um, and something else I noticed is they do not have uh, any module packages yet. So even though they still have the app stream repository, nothing is packaged as modules yet, but I'm sure modules be, will be added um, as time goes by, especially in the first five years of active development, um, but of course not in the last five years of the 10. All right, well, as you can see, there are 1,150 packages that are part of the, base, uh, the default server with GUI. And rather than having a long video, I'm just going to pause the recording and come back when it's all done installing. And we'll look at the desktop we get. All right, while it continues to finish and it's not too far from being done, um, I did look up um, on Wikipedia, Rail 9 is based on Fedora 34. And here are the Alma Linux release notes. Of course, we could check the rail release notes as well. 
but let's kind of look. We've got the 514 kernel, as I mentioned. Um, here are the dynamic program, programming web and database server versions of things that are provided in this release. Um, not much, well, quite a bit has changed. For example, PHP 8, but um, Apache hasn't had any major new updates lately, so not much they can do about that. Um, newer build environments. Um, let's see, eh, they don't really go into a lot of detail here again. If you want to know more, check out the um, RHEL release notes, and I'll show you where to find those. Is it still going? Yeah, it's almost there. Well, a lot of the, some of the new features are real specific. They get stripped out from all Linux, and that's mostly to do with licensing, which was covered above a little bit. I don't know if they're going to have an Edge product either. I think Edge is kind of like Silver Blue is on Fedora, where it uses RPM OS Tree. But I'm not positive. Um, hmm. Not sure what to look out here. I'm not going to do a good job. But once it's once it's um, up and running, post install, we'll look at it. All right, it's all done. And the only desktop environment that they provide, just like with uh, Enterprise Linux 8, is GNOME. Luckily, KDE is available in Apple. Um, Apple is a little underdeveloped when compared to previous Enterprise Linux releases, but hopefully that will improve over time. I'm not sure what other desktop environments besides KDE. I was kind of looking for XFCE, but I didn't see it. Um, let's log in. go for that. All right. Well, let's see what version of GNOME this is. I think it's version 40 or 41 maybe. It's running on top of Wayland at version 40.4.0. And um, we've got Firefox as our browser. Let's see what version that is. Version 91.7.0 ESR release. Extended support release. All right, let's open up a tab, I mean a terminal. Let's look at what repositories are enabled. The base, of course. Debug is not. Base source is not. AppStream is, of course. AppStream debug, not. AppStream source, not. 
CBR. Let's turn that on. I think that stands for code ready something. Um, and let's also, do I have links? I don't think I do. Well, that's a shame. Maybe it will be there somewhere. I don't I don't know if I've got all my repositories enabled that I usually use yet or not. And I know a lot of people don't necessarily use rail for a desktop, but that's what I'm gonna um, try to do here. So let's see. Oh, those are just to see the packages. Um, See if we can get those two things. Hmm. Thought they had those available. Well, let's install um, LibreOffice Writer. Yes, I could use GNOME software, but I don't. I prefer the command line. Thank you very much. And of course, I could use uh, flat packs for all of this stuff and maybe get newer stuff. But as I mentioned with GIMP, um, it's a version, no, well, that's the libs package, but it tells you, oh, there we go, it's still getting it. Um, 2.99, which is an odd choice. Inkscape is fairly current. 111 dash 6. Okay. Usually I get pretty uh, better speed than this, but um, with the new release, maybe there's quite a bit of traffic going on as people are downloading the new release. I'll just let it continue. Now, I could have marked all of those packages as part of the install, but just wanted to work with the package manager post install to see how well um, the beta mirror system is, is working. And everything seems to be working fine. Download speed's dipping. Does it stop completely? Nope, it's still progressing.
I know this is extremely boring. But it's so close to being done. Three, two, one. And then it could get to the actual installation part of it. Just to see what we have before all that stuff gets installed. Not a whole lot. Um, videos, calc, text editor, system monitor, cheese, and then some utilities. So that uh, server with GUI doesn't give you a whole lot. If you haven't used GNOME 40, it's um, pretty sweet. Although, I generally like a lighter weight desktop environment, especially when I'm working on remote machines. So that's why I'm kind of looking forward and hoping that Apple will get uh, XFCE built. I should check Bugzilla and see if anybody has filed a request for feature or request for enhancement ticket in Apple 9. And maybe it wouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult because, again, it, this sort of inherits from Fedora 34. And CentOS Stream 9 has been out for quite a long time. And we, we expect a GA release eh, in a couple of weeks. Alrighty, so I don't know if those will all just quickly show up in our list of applications. Yes, they do. So let me show you that really new GIMP. There's the splash screen for it. And of course, the first time you start GIMP, it takes a little longer. Unstable development version. Wow, who would have ever thought that? All right. Um, let's put Inkscape here, let's put LibreOffice Writer here, and see what versions of those things we have. If you haven't used Inkscape in a while, now it has this sort of wizard um, when you start it up. And the first time you run it, I think it does a little more. But we'll just go with the defaults. Right now, I don't think um, Flatpak might have a slightly newer version, but this is pretty new, so not any complaint there yet. But as time goes over in the stages, I'll probably switch from a standard distro package to um, a Flatpak. Now, I know the Flatpak is a much newer version of, I won't say much newer, but I think they're in the 7.2 or 7.3 series now. So if you want the latest, greatest of that, the flat pack's probably advised. Um, let's go back to our terminal. I don't think there are any updates yet, but I'll try doing a DNF update. Nope. And there are the repositories. DNF repo list used to tell you how many packages were in each repository. And, I, and it no longer does. I quit doing that in RHEL 8, I believe. Um, but it would be nice if there were a flag. And maybe there is. If there is, let me know in a comment if anybody knows how you can get that functionality back. Because it would be nice to see how many packages are available so far from, these, uh, from the stock repositories and also from the third-party repositories. Uh, Apple and um, RPM Fusion. So many people use those, so it would be interesting. I'm not sure what else to show you here. Um, well, I guess I can show you DNF module list. Shows no modules because there aren't any modules built yet. Yet there are packages in the AppStream repository. I, I was thinking the bulk of AppStream um, were modules, but I guess that is not necessarily the case. Um, Python 2 is definitely gone, especially since it was um, into life by the Python project some time ago. What is that, over a year ago now? So that's gone. Um, firewall. 
all set up. Um, we've got cockpit. Wouldn't hurt to bring up cockpit. Oops. And you can do that with HTTPS localhost colon 9090, I believe. Mm. Oh, maybe it's not actually started. Let's check and see if it's started. I'm not real sure. Um, I don't think they give you a service file and a socket file, but I generally just enable the socket one. Let's try that again. There we go. And it is a self signed certificate out of the box, but you can certainly there are instructions on how to change that. Um, and yes, they have it branded Alma because they've rebranded everything. Um, all right, if I click here, I can have more access to everything. Um, I'm not doing nested virtualization, so I can't show you cockpit machines, but let's see what version of cockpit we have. It's version 261, which is a little behind. I think 267 or 268. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it says 267. So, um, 261, we're a little bit behind, but... That's what you expect. Um, let's see if Vert Manager has actually been dropped because it was marked as deprecated. And no. Uh, DNF group list. Grep Vert. I don't think I've necessarily set the CPU type for this virtual machine to be a pass-through. So I don't think I can quite do nested virtualization, but I just kind of wanted to see what we get here. And for most people, none of this will be a mystery because, like I said, CentOS Stream 9 has been out for a while. Of course, it'll have slightly newer versions of some things and then will be in the... GA release of RHEL 9 and Alma Linux 9. That is a downstream of RHEL. While that's going, let me look at my CPU. Oh, copy host. Okay, so I should be able to do nested. Let's try that nested KVM. Okay. Oh. All right, it's disabled by the packager. It's currently disabled. Now let's do an IP add. And you can see we have our load device and our local ethernet. So let's do... All right, now we'll check the status, and it is running. Um, let's uh, do that IP add again, so you can see that it created a virtual bridge. Usually there's a fourth device, hmm. Well, let's install the client. 
and how about cockpit machines too? And I could install known boxes just for the fun of it. Ah, oh, they don't have it. Hmm. Let me search for boxes and see what we get. I guess we don't have that. How about... Uh, what version of Podman? I think they're going to be putting... F oh, 4 is available. Okay. Oh, it's already installed. Came pre-installed. Huh? That's interesting. I know I'm kind of jumping all around here. Um, but let's try... I guess I need some installation media. No links, huh? Well. Let's install. Let's try out the mental mole install media within a virtual machine here. I should have W get right. Yeah, there we go. I'm not a big fan of the dark theme, and that's easily changeable, thank goodness. Um, I don't know if I'm technically in the dark theme or not, but uh, let's find Vert Manager. I guess I could just type Vert, and there it is. Let's add to favorites. Let's see if our nested works. And oops, I guess I'm not a member of the Libbert group. There we go. I could make that where I don't have to authenticate if I add my user to the um, Libbert group. And Rail 9 is on the list of um, presets to pick from. Oops, I guess my numlock is not on. There we go. And that's fine. sure what that was even asking but what the heck of course I'm not gonna go through everything in this video I'll just do the install and come back when it's done and I'll I'll pause the recording until it's ready to be shown and if I run into any issues I'll um, bring the recording back and show you what happened all right, so far everything is going fine in the install. Um, I'm using the minimal installation media, so it doesn't have a lot of packages to pick from. But uh, server with the default selected item, and I did add GNOME Desktop to it as a package add-on. So I'll just pause the recording and come back when it's done. Uh, post install on the first boot after installation. Um, what I selected seems to be a pretty minimal package set. It's only 433 packages, but I did select GNOME, so we'll see what happens. Be back. I guess while the install is going on, I'll check out a couple other things. Um, what do we got for NM? We've got NM2E by default, and we also have NMCLI. We don't use IPv6 around here, so I usually disable that. Um, I guess that's all right. So, 
I'm going to deactivate that and then activate it again to get rid of the IPv6. All right. And it's cruising right on along. I'll, again, I'll come back in a minute. One thing to note is, and this was visible when I did the main install, um, but they don't have this marked as beta, so I, that's kind of interesting. At least they didn't do their, their theme in the Anaconda installer to indicate that it's a beta. I think while that's finishing up, I'll go um, install Flatpak. Or I should say enable Flathub. I'm not, well, is Flatpak installed? Yes, it is. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Quick Setup. And again, I don't like the graphical environment, so I'm going to pick Fedora because they list the command line way to do it. And when I run Flackpat, you can run it as a regular user and then it'll install all the applications under the user's uh, home directory. I prefer them to be global. So if I do have multiple users on the system, they all have access to it. But let's do, I don't know, Flatpak search um, Inkscape and see what version they have there. Although sometimes they don't really tell you necessarily what the version is. Oh yeah, they do. One one two. How about GIMP? Uh, where's it at? Right here. So they don't offer the unstable version there. Um, anything interesting to install from there? Um, <laughs> no. I don't, I don't imagine they have the links text-based web browser. How about, do we have that links? Or W3M, I'll try W3M next if that doesn't show up. I usually like to have a text, hey, there we go. Both of those are pretty competent so far as text-based browsers go. I'm just used to using links. And I think that's still going. Yeah, getting close to being done though. This is the first thing I do when I um, use Tmux. And we do have Nano. Not hearing my storage grinding away, so maybe that's done. Yep. All right. And it boots for the first time. We're not going to go through everything within this one that I did on this um, level one VM versus level two. But let's see what we got. Will we get a graphical login? We do not. Oh, I guess maybe I... Can I start X and get GNOME? Okay, start. Uh, I don't know what I got. Um, doesn't seem to be... nothing no known packages so 
I'm thinking the package selection in the uh, minimal media is not <laughs> functional. Um, I don't think I showed that on the screen when I was going through it, but that's kind of been an issue in 8 as well, I think. Anyway, I don't go for the minimal media. Most of the time I'll just use the regular full DVD, which is about 9 gigs in size, so that's pretty big. Oh, I did install um, cockpit machines. Uh, maybe let's log out back in again. There's probably a way to refresh it, but... Okay, virtual machines, so we do have cockpit machines. And I should be able to see the virtual machine that I have. And if I run it, I can get to the console. Um, and since we're on the same system, the desktop viewer should work as well. Um, so let's launch that bad boy. Open with... Is that going to work? Uh, maybe I don't... Do I have vert viewer installed? Oh, here, what? <laughs> it opened up the um, the Spice Connection file in a text editor. Uh, I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Got two competing desktops taking my um, hotkeys. Let's look for remote viewer there we go okay so we do have it so let's open up files and maybe if it's not too late I can where is the connections file hmm. I don't know where it put it anyway I know that works um, I've used it plenty let's go to the VNC console and expand that all right so yeah works pretty good um, cockpit give it a try if you have it and I guess I've shown enough um, I think I'll shut this thing down uh, right in front of me where do you shut it down it says running oh there it is right there right in front of me if it had been a snake it would have bit me pretty quick. I don't think I can shut it down this way, but um, I could force shut down. There we go. All right. Ooh, um, just in case you didn't know, you do have a web-based terminal, and with the newer version, um, you do have some options where you can make the font bigger and you can set the different appearance. Um, that's not necessarily new to this. It's just provided by cockpit so you got cockpit you got these features all right i'm going to call it quits for now thanks for watching